Attempting to recreate this uh, video after the third time trying. Um, this is going to be the episode 17 of the uh, Critical Think of a Childish. Um, making the switch from the Energy Blade mix to Violent on the Light Bearman Amen. Um, of course, uh, the reason why we're talking about this is because this is definitely um, a big, big a change for a lot of people that are looking to go end game with um, the Light Bearman. Um, the since they took away our ability to um, utilize uh, various team up abilities and whatnot um, uh, to uh, you know get additional um, turns with him and get additional uh, opportunities to heal. This is now basically with the violence as the only way to get those additional heal steal without. Um, you know, without basically you know, the only way of getting those uh, abilities, um, you know, without a use, you know, without the use of like a fire ergonomy or something like that. So, um, what we're going to talk about here, you know, we're going to be basically going down some of the basics um, from what has been provided to me from DAC again from um, Clan Exodus. Now, Clan Exodus is a revamped guild from Clan Ubiquitous, same guild from the Ab Invasion forum. So, if you want to go ahead and check them out, uh, hop on abinvasion.com and check out their threads. If you're looking to get more information about the guild, so um, let's go ahead and start out with some of the information that he's provided. I uh, got a lot of great feedback from him as well as some other people from the channel. So I'm going to take a nice uh, uh, detailed summary of that information. If you care to look at the rest, go ahead and check out that channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and break it down. Um, we're sitting at 19k and 97% um, uh, crit rate. Okay, and our effective I would say how our, our heal is 12% of our, um, 20%, 12% of our max HP. So I will go ahead and just tell you that right now. It's about 2469 on the heal for, uh, 2467 on the heal for Amon. All right, keep it, keep that in mind as we, as we calculate, um, you know, this information. So um, as far as trying to figure out the effective heal, basically it's going to come down to the number of effective terms times the crit rate times the heal per crit, okay? So for example, right now currently my effective turns is one because I'm not currently utilizing any type of rune set that provides any um, additional turn. So one times my crit rate, 97%, times the 2467, okay? And, you know, obviously I don't have the, the numbers right in front of me, but that's still going to be uh, 2,400 plus. So we'll just kind of say 2,400 um, overall, okay? And so with regards to what, you know, what does it come down to the, the effect of transfer violent? It actually comes down to 1.25, and basically that's calculated by taking 1 times uh, 0.2 um, times 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2 and so on and so forth. It keeps on going. It's a repetitive format because every opportunity you attack has an additional 20% chance to um, go ahead and attack again. So basically it comes down to rounding out to be 1.25. And so we were to try to figure out, you know, if the violence set is better, we got to take 1.25 times the crit rate and then times the heal per hit. Okay, so how do we figure out, um, you know, which one is better? Um, basically, we would calculate um, by taking the number of effective turns for violent, take the times uh, your estimated crit rate and hit points, and figure out what is the exact amount of crit rate and hit points, you know, per uh, heal per crit, um, that makes that number, that sum, you know, that sum of those three, or you know, multiples so of those three, all those together, um, that sum um, greater than the original 97% times the 24, 67, whatever that. We got to find out what is greater. And I, if I haven't posted it already, I'm going to go ahead and post that, that link for that equation so you can understand that because I know that what I'm saying right now may not make too much sense, but, you know, when you kind of plug and chug your numbers, you'll be able to figure it out. Um, but I will say, um, and, and I agree with, um, uh, you know, most of the people that are providing the information, um, the violent set is going to be uh, generally, uh, you know, better. Um, you know, in terms of the, um, you know, the energy blade combination, um, just for the fact that, uh, you know, if you can, mind you, if you can have an imperable crit rate. So if you're trying, if you're looking at taking this 97% crit rate and switching over to a violence set, 
Um, but your violence set, you know, plus the blade rooms or whatever, only give you, you know, maybe 58% because you have that six star rune like I got right here. Um, that's not going to be an effective switch. But if you're, if you have pretty darn close to the same crit rate and, and relatively same amount of hit points or whatnot, um, then yes, it's definitely, um, you know, uh, definitely going to be, um, you know, more, uh, more reason to do it, you know, more reason to do it. And why is that? Um, when we're looking at the, um, you know, the calculations or whatnot and, and where we're getting our hit points or whatnot, you know, the energy is going to give us an additional, uh, 30% base hit points from the, you know, from the setup that I got. Um, however, um, you know, with regards to the effective turns, we're looking at taking 1.25, um, times the max um, hit points. So that 1.25 versus the one um, is going to be a pretty darn, um, you know, pretty darn big jump. Um, but again, um, as uh, Dak has stated, um, the information that is provided, um, this is basically looking at um, the terms of the average or effective heal per se. There's going to be um, situations where you prefer the reliability of heals. Um, you know, even if you're healing less overall, in which case, you know, your focus should be just to max out the crit as much as possible, even if this means sacrificing, um, the violent proc. So essentially, again, um, this unit is, is king when he is sitting at that 90, 95, hundred percent crit rate. But if you're looking to make a, the switch to violent without a, a decent amount of crit rate, he's no good to you because he is solely relying on that crit rate. Okay. So if you're kind of on that borderline when you do this calculation, try to figure out to yourself, uh, I'm right there. Uh, my violent setup is not greater than the energy blade combination. What 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 can I use to justify um, reasons for going passive? Well, um, like we talked about it before in the violent versus swift episode, I think it was episode 15. The the use the utilization of of a of a uh, of a rune set like violent gives you that ability to, uh, of unpredictability. Um, so. Having unpredictability in the dungeon as well as uh, arena defense, if you utilize this unit, is going to um, help out a lot. And that's not just with that's not just with the um, that's not just with the unit um, the, that unit itself, but any unit that uses the violence set. So while I go ahead and talk in here, you, um, we're looking at some of the runes here. I'm going to go ahead and start dumping these runes. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave that one on. Um, there's an, oh, fail. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my goodness gracious. I swear I fail so much. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. I tell you, boy. I've never failed so much in my life. Oh, look at that. Look at these crappy runes. I removed some runes. I don't even know... Oh, yeah, all these five-star runes are from farming the uh, Giants B9. Um, and, of course, I don't know what all I need or what I have. But for this video, we'll definitely, we'll definitely make some rune here. So since I got that one, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and start, you know, we'll start removing the runes that we need. And we'll go ahead and um, add them as we fill up. So let's go ahead and knock this off. Okie dokie. So making the switch here. I've um, got a lot of runes. <laughs> it's funny. i got a lot of runes to choose from here. But I do realize that i got one blade rune that is king here. This one is nice with the 80% hit points. But I recently got this one with the 4% crit rate. So we are going to switch it here. Where is he at? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right. Boom, boom. And I, about a week ago, I got a six slot um, attack rune for Violent. So I am going to um, switch uh, Jameer over to a little bit of attack. Um, he's been sitting really good with about 33k hit points, so I'm not too concerned. Um, this allows me to still keep the violence back on Jameer, um, but allow me to make the switch over to, uh, for Amon here to get his thing. So let's, let's make sure we're not failing. Okay. Yeah. 
we're we could definitely um, go over that one. We're not concerned about that one. So, and there we go. And we got the little hit point one here. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back. We are back. So the runes have been placed, and as you can see, um, we just made. Um, you know, history in the making, right? We got the new Amon. He's set up for 99%. Um, and to go ahead and showcase the runes again, um, we have an additional 84% crit rate total. Um, but why? the reason why for the um, uh, cutoff on the video was a huge epic fail. This video was essentially about 17 minutes, but I probably spent about 5 minutes going back and forth trying to figure out how I am at 99%. Um, Right, because I told you guys at the very beginning, I calculated my estimated calculation for my crit rate was 84%, but I completely forgot about the fact that you get 15% base crit rate. Um, <laughs> Durr, so as you can see, the 84 plus the 15 gives me 99, which you know kind of makes me upset that you know this you know happened because if this was the case, I would have switched this a week ago when I got that that um, extra um, um, rune, that violent rune, I think I already put, yeah, I put them all on or whatever, so, um, you know, now I, uh, you know, will have Jameer replaced with the attack rune, and hopefully we get a hit point rune or attack rune, you know, another one from here to get him filled out, um, made the drop, uh, you know, now he has uh, 27k hit points versus the 33, um, but now we have a little bit more damage. So now he's going to be a little bit more of a hybrid. Still strong, still heavy hitter as far as the hit points go. So it's going to be all good there. But again, um, the goal was to get this guy um, two max, uh, six star max hit points um, with some good um, substat runes and, uh, you know, hit points percentages and whatnot for the substats. And, uh, you know, see this guy shine because as you guys can see, from the fodder, he will be the next six star, um, as he is my main healer for most of the Trial of Ascension and Dungeon um, um, play here. So, um, again, you know, like as you can see, the switch from about 19k hit points to 21k hit points, 22k more or less. Um, you know, obviously with the 99% switch, it's it's pretty um, obvious as to why I made the switch. But if you guys are on the borderline where you're trying to figure out. Um, you know, if you should make the switch, if your crit rate is not as high, um, consider some of these additional factors that Dak has pointed out for us. Um, the fact that he gets the violent um, triggers allows his second attack, which is based off his max HP, um, you know, gives an opportunity to get that down. You know, obviously we're going to max this out and get this at three turns, but, you know, with the more violent attacks, we're going to get an opportunity to bring it down and have more opportunities to use this as second attack. So if you get an opportunity to use the attack based on his max HP, when you're six star, and you're sitting at, you know, 30,000 plus hit points, you're going to do some pretty good damage with that. And if the units debuffed, you're going to do even more damage with that, um, which will be very, very strong. Um, in addition, uh, me personally, um, you know, when I'm when I'm doing the um, trial of essentials and whatnot, utilizing the uh, first attack for provoke and being able to take away somebody's ability to use their second or third skill because they're forced to attack Amon is huge, uh, in my opinion. This is one of the things that Dak didn't point out, but I still think it's uh, very, very important to go ahead and talk about it. Um, in addition to the final specs, you also got the ability or, uh, to shake off debuffs. So, you know, if you have a debuff on you for three turns slow and you get an opportunity to proc two times, that's an opportunity to get remove that buff and go back to the normal speed or, or basically be, you know, hostile effect free. Um, and then, and then the last but not least, like we already talked about, that unpredictability of the violence spec offense or defense is still um, pretty, pretty strong. But again, uh, this is, you know, all the all the calculations, everything we made um, was based on, you know, just the effective heal or the average heal. So if you, um, you know, at the end of the day, if your goal is to just heal and heal alone, um, you know, make sure that you are at 100% crit rate with whatever set you use, because um, that's where it's going to shine. Yeah, obviously, if you got like a support healer along with Amon, then it might not be too crucial. When, you, But if you're relying on Amon to get the job done, which, you know, most people like myself are going to be doing that because we want to utilize as many other support attack dps and whatnot in our group to get the most bang for our buck um then yeah we need to have a pretty uh darn good um crit rate or whatnot so i think i'll go ahead 
and leave it um, right right there. Um, there's really nothing else to add. Um, if I didn't mention it um, correctly, like for my situation and that I was sitting at basically 100% crit rate, um, my equation or my percentage there, if I'm sitting at 100% crit rate, um, you know, with a one, you know, with a energy blade mix combo, if I were to calculate it and throw it into the violent set, um, you know, with a 1.25 effective turn times the, you know, crit rate percentage and the heal per crit, then I need to, um, the switch over to violent set would be beneficial if I was sitting at at least the same hit points with a 80% uh, crit rate. Um, as you can see with the stats, I am sitting well over the amount of hit points that I am, so that's more than enough to justify it. And in addition, you know, my crit rate is actually a couple percent better, so definitely, um, you know, crucial for me to do that. So hopefully this guy, this, this helps you guys uh, out. I'm sorry for the long uh, winded vid. Again, uh, you know, this is a very, very important um, as far as the uh, mid to late, you know, mid to late game goes. And I hope this information all made sense. If it didn't, please go and check the app Asian forums um, and go ahead and take a look at some of the other people, um, you know, their their opinions and whatnot, their, their, their posts. Um, you're going to see a lot of people that are, are all about the you know, talking about the high uh, crit rate is king, you know, obviously if you're relying on it, but then you got the people that are justifying the other factors that I talked about. So we've got about a half and half on the talk here, but uh, at the end of the day for me, I use it as my solo healer, so it's very, very important to have that high crit rate, okay? So thanks again for tuning in, guys. Your boy Childish with Childish Place checking out, ending the 17th episode of Critical Thinking with Childish, making the switch from Energy Blade to Violent. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Take care, guys, and we will see you next time.